Disability History Panel 16, 1972 through 1977. People with disabilities face new opportunities and threats as America's largest minority. Americans with disabilities don't want your pity or your lethal mercy. We want freedom. We want life. Not dead yet. Social Viewpoint. A 1991 survey, Public Attitudes Towards People with Disabilities, Louis Harris, found that, quote, Pity, embarrassment, fear, anger, and resentment are the marks of a people whose conscience is bothering them and who desperately need to learn how to treat those with disabilities with equality. Social Viewpoint Valerie Schaff, one of the early leaders in self-advocacy, inspired by the advocacy and civil and human rights groups of the 1960s and formed partly in reaction to professional and parental attitudes, Self-advocacy groups formed their own organizations at the local, state, and national levels. Social Viewpoint Reverend Wade Blank, one of the founders of ADAPT. Connection to Different Time in History In the self-advocacy movement, the role of the support person is an important accommodation. Some people need assistance with personal care and transportation. In self-advocacy, this relationship may be that of advisor, facilitator, or friend. The key to this role is to support, not control. Social Viewpoint Self-advocacy means advocating for oneself, standing up for one's rights. For thousands around the world, it is also a term of personal identity, focusing on one's political power and right to self-determination. It is also a growing civil rights movement representing women and men of all races, colors, and religions who have been systematically neglected, abused, incarcerated, and misunderstood for most of history. Connection to different time in history. Back in the 1940s, Jacobus Tenbrook changed the name of the Federation for the Blind to the Federation of the Blind. In similar fashion, the self-advocacy movement was telling parents it was now time for people to speak for themselves. Social Viewpoint Most professionals and parents believe that persons with developmental disabilities should be protected at all cost. Dr. Bentnerje disagreed. To be allowed to be human means to be allowed to fail. By listening to people with developmental disabilities, Dr. Nerje and others discovered that individuals themselves, not professionals and parents, know best what they want in life. Social Viewpoint In response to continuing images of pity, particularly in telethons, self-advocates help to redefine the disability problem by asserting it is a matter of rights, not charity. Self-advocacy groups have recognized the need for support through advice, encouragement, assistance with daily living and transportation, and have described the role of the support person as that of advisor, facilitator, and friend. The relationship is one of mutual trust, understanding, and respect. The key to being an effective support person is to support, not control. Medical Viewpoint Psychiatric survivors, activists, and allies protest incarceration and forced treatment, including electroshock and psychotropic drugs. Medical Viewpoint Jack Kevorkian, the former Michigan pathologist who illegally practiced physician-assisted suicide, Dr. Death, as he was tagged by many activists in the disability community, finally went too far and killed Thomas Yauch on video, administering a lethal drug for the primetime audiences of 60 minutes. In March 1999, Kevorkian was convicted of second-degree murder and delivery of a controlled substance. He is now in jail, serving 10 to 25 years. Social Viewpoint Professor Peter Singer, appointed head of the Bioethics Department of Princeton University, has theorized that killing a disabled baby is not the moral equivalent of killing a person. Connection to Different Time in History Many activists with disabilities see Dr. Singer's argument as a slippery slope back to the eugenics movement. 